Hey, this is a quick video showing off my Samsung Galaxy S8 setup. Um, as you can see, I'm not using a case for the phone. I decided a couple years ago that I would not use a case for phones because I think it's a bit contradictory because we buy phones mostly nowadays for the looks. Because let's be honest, if you're talking about strictly performance-wise, like to the average Joe, if you're just using your phone to go on Instagram, take pictures of your dog or your kid, you know, and just like send emails and stuff you can use a $400 Chinese phone and it would, it would do the exact same thing as a $900 Samsung phone so the only reason we're buying a Samsung phone is because the phone looks so damn sleek and you know and I'll admit this is probably the best looking phone ever made um, the AMOLED panel is beautiful and if you use a black wallpaper it really looks like the icons are popping off of the screen and you're just holding a phone because of the slim bezels and the symmetrical curves front and back it's just so beautiful so this so i think getting a case for the samsung galaxy s8 kind of defeats the purpose because you're buying this phone because it looks so damn sleek and you're putting a bulky case on there but you know i understand that people buy a case because they don't want to break their phones you know because um, they're scared they drop whatever you crack your screen when you scratch the back so this is my setup to get around using a case um, I'll just I'll explain this later. Okay, I know this you might have a question about what this is. So first, I have a screen protector on the front. I think that's I think a screen protector is actually more important than having a case. Sometimes I'll, I'll go on Reddit on and or XDA and read about people saying they have a case on the phone but not a screen protector, and I just don't get it. I don't think I don't think unless you have a really bulky ass case that sticks out this much up front, I don't think it's gonna protect your phone if you drop it face down. So getting a screen protector. A tempered glass one particularly will probably protect your phone from cracking more than a case so the first thing I always get is a, temp a screen protector this one is not a tempered glass because tempered glass screen protectors are tough to find a good one for a curved screen phone so I, this is the official Samsung one it feels pretty nice it, it feels quite sturdy it's like it's a little bit stronger than film if not quite glass so I get a screen protector on the front and then on the back I get a skin Okay, I know if you're watching on YouTube videos, you know everyone's like pimping D-brand skin. So, um, this is a slick wrap because, you know, I, I don't get paid to do this shit. So, this is, a, I, I mean, I use D, I paid D, I bought a D-brand skin before too. D-brand skin is good, but a slick wrap is pretty, just as good. You know, I can't tell the difference. So, this is a matte black slick wrap skin. And I think it makes the phone look much better because Samsung, the, the glass back is just, it looks good out of the box. But once you hold the phone for like 10 seconds, it just looks like shit. Your fingerprint, muck, oil, grease all over the back. It just looks terrible. So I think you put a matte black skin on there, it looks a lot better, adds a little bit more grip, and also protects the phone from scratches. So if you leave it like just lying around a table, licks of coins and keys, you, you don't have to worry about scratching your phone. So I think with the screen protector and the skin on the back, that already protects your phone from from scratches and and a little bit of drop protection you know I, I mean to be honest I don't think a case would do much for drop protection too unless you get a really bulky one so I think this is already enough if you're careful but for additional protection I got a pop socket so this is what this thing is it's um it's a little nub that you stick I like that you can press it down and then once you put it down you know it doesn't doesn't look that out of place and you can't even see it from the front which I like it which is what I like about it, but um, if you bring it out, then first you can use this as a prop, as a kickstand if you want to watch a video while eating lunch. But more importantly, what it does is it gives you extra grip. So now, it gives you a handle to hold on to the phone. So now I can use the phone one-handed more confidently because if you have your fingers around this, it's a lot harder to drop. Because I, I live in Hong Kong, so the streets, is, um, the streets are full of people and it's always packed. So if someone bumps into me on the street, and I'm holding, and I have my finger around this, and I feel like it's a lot safer than if I'm just holding onto the phone, especially if I'm trying to use it one-handed. Um, I particularly think this is necessary for the Galaxy S8 because one, this fingerprint sensor location is complete shit. It's just, there's just, this is the S8 Plus too, so it's really hard to unlock without adjusting your grip. So every time if I'm using the phone one-handed, I have to like. Like how kind of adjust my grip and loosen it to unlock. So every time I'm doing that on the street, I'm just paranoid. Someone's gonna walk into me and the phone's gonna fly out of my hand. So if I have this on there, 
I can slide my hand up, adjust my grip to do this and still feel a bit safe. And also another reason I think this is needed is because the the notification shade on Samsung phones and iPhones and uh, Google Pixel, you can only bring it down by swiping it from the top of the screen, which is pretty damn stupid because displays not, uh, phone screens nowadays are a bit too big to reach all the way up top. So if I'm using it for one handed, like this, how am I supposed to reach the top of the notification shade without again having to like adjust my grip like this? So, so with this, with the pop socket, it gives me again a lot more security. I feel like I can, if I need to reach the notification, I can let, adjust my grip like this while my finger is still wrapped around it, so I feel a little bit more safe. And I know, yes, I know there's a shortcut that Samsung gives you to bring down the shade from here, but again, this location is trash, so it doesn't matter. It's still trash. I don't know why Samsung and iPhone. They don't give you a, a shortcut to bring down the shade because if you notice on LG and Huawei phones, they can, you can, they give you an option to put a digital button. So I can just press a button to bring down a notification. Or on the OnePlus 3 or the Xiao or Xiaomi phones, you can bring down a notification by swiping down anywhere from the screen. So I don't have to reach all the way up top. I can swipe down right here to bring it down. So, and, but one way to get around the fix is fortunately it's to put a custom launcher. So I have a custom launcher on this, as you can see. So I can bring down a notification shade by swiping from the middle of the screen or anywhere on the screen. I think it's very useful because if you use Samsung stock launcher, it, you just have to reach all the way up to the top every time. And the stock launcher looks shit anyway. So Nova launcher is much better. So that's it. I think, um, I th see, because you can press it in, I think it, it doesn't look that bulky. It's better than the rings that you might have seen some in China all over Hong Kong. And and I think it because it's on the back only, so if you have the phone just on on face down, it still looks pretty you know, looks pretty clean. It it, it looks better than having a case on there. You still have the phone like how Samsung intended it to look. And when you're using it, most people won't be able to see the pop socket in your back, so it just looks like you're using a clean phone. Only when you look at it directly from the back that you see this little thing. So this is the only thing that takes away from the look of the phone. Otherwise, everything looks just how the phone intended. I think that's a better look than putting a bulky ass case on the front, it's, um, around the body. Especially the case that Samsung is trying to sell you, the official ones. Man, those are nasty, dude. I don't know what the hell is Samsung thinking. They made such a beautiful phone, but they put a shitty ass software inside and a shitty ass case. So um, that's it, man. I. I just think with protector, skin, pop socket, this will basically prevent my phone from slipping on my hands and falling. And even if I do drop it, it it's a little bit protected. So I think this will keep the phone in mint condition. Thanks for watching.